in workplaces where gloves are utilised. It is common for allergy management programs to focus on the understanding and treatment of latex protein allergy. Less recognised, yet arguably more widespread, is the link between chemicals used in the manufacture of gloves and a range of allergic reaction. There are three types of clinical reactions associated with glove use. Type 1. Type 1 is a latex allergy. These responses are allergies that derive from a sensitivity to the residual proteins found in natural rubber latex, NRL. Upon contact with NRL products, histamines are released into the skin tissues, creating cutaneous effects such as itching and hives, urticaria. Type 4 allergic contact dermatitis, ACD. Type 4 is a chemical allergy. Unlike type 1, type 4 allergies are not life-threatening, but do cause considerable discomfort. Irritant contact dermatitis, ICD. A non-allergic reaction seen in those who frequently use NRL products. It is not mediated by an immune system sensitization or reaction and is caused by frequent washing, sweating or irritation from powder lubricants. Glove manufacturers use a variety of chemicals to produce both NRL and synthetic rubber gloves. The accelerator group is known to induce most chemical allergies. This chemical group is used to enhance barrier qualities strengthening and improving integrity of the finished product. Despite manufacturers conducting a process of leaching and washing to lessen residual chemical levels in the finished product, for poorly manufactured products, this leaching process is not always as effective. Proper vulcanization without the use of any chemical accelerators can strengthen the material without using chemical accelerators. This allows for cleaner, more skin-friendly product and the best possible solution when you need the barrier protection of a glove and healthy skin for your sensitive hands. For more information or to subscribe to Safety Briefing, go to www.ansell.com.